Hey, this is Pavan. Welcome to Technofiles Hub. Today we are going to talk about an advanced renaming technique to rename all your images. So let's get started. So lately what I have noticed is that the amount of space that is available for me on Google Drive is getting less. So one way to deal with the situation is that I just need to change the image quality to high which actually will compress the images but Google will not consider the space that is allocated for my photos towards my available space. Um, this is an appealing thing but I don't want to um, compress the images before I'm sure that I have a copy of all the images that I have taken. So I have downloaded all the images. But the next thing that I realized is that I already have local copy of all the images on my hard disk. How can I ensure that I am not having duplicate images for every single image that I have uploaded to Google Photos? So one thing is that you can identify using the names, but going through all the images is not an easy way or it's not an easy task. So I need to figure out a way. One thing that I think was that if I rename the image name based on the date and time that I have taken them, it would be a good way to name the image. Basically, it gives me many advantages. One thing is that I can sort all the images based on the date and time that they have taken. I can eliminate all the duplicates that are there in the images and I can store all the images in a single folder. Uh, I mean, you might have many situations to you as well. Like for example, you might have changed uh, mobiles over a period of time and not all mobiles have the same naming standard so they might have stored on your PC with different names and you might have formatted your mobile and so that the naming counter gets reset and uh, uh, your first image is again named as first image so you can get into all those complications so which will not allow you to put all the images into a single folder so for that I need to start renaming the images so without getting any much theoretical so let's see how we can do that um, I've used a simple tool called XF tool um, this tool is basically about reading metadata and writing metadata metadata is the information that is available for an image so on any image if you go to the properties in your Windows machine or image section in your um, Linux machine you can see that it has so much of information about the photograph this information can be extracted using this EXIF tool and the reason why I have used this in, uh, tool is to extract the creation date of an image So it reads all that information. I'm interested in specifically the create date. So it can read that information for me in command line. So now what I have done is that I've looped through all the images that are available. Of course, they are available in subfolders. I did not collapse them into a single folder. Um, Instead, I loop through all the images based on the extension and uh, pass through this EXIF tool to get the creation date in a certain format and route it through awk. Uh, the reason why we are using awk here is that because um, you don't want the create date parameter. So if I pass it through awk, I'll just get the parameter that I want. Just that and this parameter allows me to give it in the format that I want. So I loop through all the images and use the EXIF tool to extract the create date and then route it through awk to get it into the required format and I've stored them into a folder called validated. And what happens is that whenever there are duplicates, your images won't get processed. Um, meaning that whenever you're trying to use move command on an existing image the process fails 
and the image remains in the same folder where it is originally kept in so then you can delete that particular image basically um, assuming that you have not taken any images on exact date and time um, there are two complications that I have come across um, what happened is that I might have edited certain images like um, modified image um, like making you pretty or something like that then there is a duplicate image but that is actually edited image so those sort of situations you might face little complications and there are situations when exit tool cannot get the create date uh, basically the metadata is lost um, if you have um, you know uploaded image to a certain website and downloaded that image from that website or some all random things that you have done online um, but not actually the image from your camera so in that tool exif tool failed but overall i was pretty happy with the result um, and i was able to put all the images into a single folder based on the date and time that they have taken the similar way that your google photo arranges this is what i want to talk i think it is a little bit theoretical but hopefully you found this useful thanks for watching have a nice day